everyone welcome back to femacy lighthouse thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel to book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video we are going to take a look at everything that you need to know i encourage you to join me at the private lighthouse on instagram the link for you to join will be found in the comment section the moon is in pisces today However, the sun will transfer over to Virgo tomorrow and I can already feel the tranquility, okay? I feel this energy of just being in peace. There's some sort of release that's going on right now, letting all of it go and just focusing on our new plans and the new things that we are looking forward to. I feel like hermit season, which is Virgo season, is all about getting educated and just really working diligently towards your projects and the things that you have been planning on. And I am happy that Virgo season is here because Leo season had me lit, okay? But now that I don't have to worry about my Leo placements being activated, then I can just relax, right? So let's see what happens. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past. Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. The creator is coming out here for the second day in a row, all right? Major emphasis on whatever it is that you are creating. What is that, Taurus? Please put it in the comment section. Are you opening a store? Are you designing some clothes? Are you a makeup artist? Do you do eyelashes? Are you getting on YouTube? Are you writing a book? What do you have going on? Put it in the comment section. This is the second day that Creator comes out here. You have to be creative. There's the push for that at this time. You also have this energy of being out in nature or just going for walks. This is the perfect time to do that, especially with the fall season. So you're encouraged to just be in your element. Virgo is a fellow earth sign. You're gonna feel very comfortable with this energy, especially beginning tomorrow, all right? And I want you to just not put any mind to the toxicity or anybody who's being toxic here, okay? Because we have some sort of venomous energy that continues to kind of want to be around you. Or it's like somebody views you as venomous where it's like they feel that even if they try to move on from you, you have them and they want to kind of learn how to live without you, but it's hard for them to do that. And so that experience is telling them something in itself and they really need to recognize that. So what type of work do they have to do if they view you as someone that has poisoned them? And I don't feel like you literally have. What I'm saying is, is that they view you as venomous. Like she's venomous, he's venomous, you know? So, Someone could view you as toxic or you could view them as toxic. You both view each other as toxic. Something like that is what this energy is saying. Tell me more. Tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about that. Why you keep getting the same energies? That's crazy. The shapeshifter that came out. If you watch me every day, the shapeshifter came out here. We got the animal. Somebody's a fucking animal. This person, you know, they just, they just love to really be unexpected and, and they want to come right in and they want to, rule whatever it is that you have going on i don't know if you're gonna allow somebody to be controlling i don't know if they really are controlling but it's like this animal needs to settle down like you know <laughs> something like that 
with this person. Tell me more. Tell me more about this individual, please. Tell me more. The healer, okay, okay. So it's like someone needs to be healed or you will be healing someone is what I'm getting here. And then we have that the star is born, of course. There is some sort of like creative project. Either you or someone around you, I have been getting that you have been inspiring somebody to be creative or there's somebody else that pushed you to now have to think about how you're gonna have this new beginning. So even if you were not expecting to have a new beginning, now you are in full creator mode and that's exactly what you needed. You needed to be uncomfortable in order to get to where you are now. Something like that is happening, you know? You know how they say like, when you're going through the craziest shit, that's when to write the best music? Like, it could be something like that, where it's like, you may feel like there's chaos going on in your life right now, but you're utilizing that energy to develop something that is going to win you Grammys, you know? metaphorically speaking, but you know what I mean. It's like all of the pressure right now that you're feeling, you could feel attacked. You could feel like everybody's coming after you or that family members are being a certain way or, you know, but that is all going to be your fuel. And that's gonna help you make something magnificent happen here. All right, that's what I'm getting from this energy here. So even if it's a difficult time, this is the perfect time to start developing something that has longevity, okay? Now, let's take a look at the recent past. Spirit, speak to me in reference. So we have the 10 of wands energy, fire energy coming out here first, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for some of you. Tell me more about the 10 of wands. What is this 10 of wands energy? And then we have the magician. So just like I was saying, the difficult time that you're having or whatever the struggle is, okay? 10 of wands, this is how you could probably feel in the recent past. Something seems a little too heavy. It seems like a burden, but all of that energy, whatever it is that's so heavy is going to lead you to this magician. So it's like, you're gonna become more goal directed. You're not gonna let something consume you. And all of a sudden, the Queen of Swords transfers over to the Magician, where he or she finally makes something happen out of a situation that seemed like it wasn't going anywhere. So you have to be uncomfortable in order to make the change that needs to be made, right? Because change does not come from comfort zones. And we know that comfort zones make people stagnant. And a lot of people are starting to understand that, you know? I feel like a lot of people are questioning themselves and saying, am I a little too comfortable? Am I, right? Like, I feel like there's somebody watching this and they could be questioning themselves about that. So start to think about what makes you uncomfortable because that's what's going to light the fire under your ass, whatever it is that makes you uncomfortable, you know, that's how you're gonna have the push forward. Now, tell me more. Spirit, talk to me about the recent past. What about love? The recent past, please. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well, Aries and Virgo. Tell me more. The moon, there could be a fire sign that's hiding their feelings from you. There could be a fire sign that's hiding their feelings from you. If it's not a fire sign, it could be somebody else, but we have the king of wands that's attracted to this queen of swords, which is you, because there could have been some sort of struggle that you were going through, but now you are becoming more ambitious to follow your dreams because of all the pain. And so this king of wands is attracted to this queen who's going after her dreams and he's quietly keeping it to himself. But I feel like you already know how this king feels anyway. So 
I don't know why he's hiding. Why does he keep hiding if you already know how he feels? Hmm? Now, let's take a look at the present. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the present when it comes to this energy that surrounds Taurus. Tell me more about the present. We have the Ten of Cups. Very nice. Right? So, as you leave the Ten of Wands energy... Okay, because I feel like you're leaving this behind. Something was a struggle. Something was a burden. But then you get into this queen of swords energy and you start to execute and you become the magician. So these are your plans coming to life because as I repeat, your success is coming from the fact that you were uncomfortable somewhere or at some place in your life. And so that's what pushed you to move. And so now you're putting in the work is what I'm getting. And I feel like you have an admirer because of that. Somebody admires that about you. In the present moment, the 10 of cups, very nice. Talk to me about this 10 of cups, please. Talk to me about the eight of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, tell me more. And then we have the 10 of swords energy. All right, so I feel like you're just doing you in the present moment. You're not really focused on another person. I feel like there is another person that's focused on you, but they feel the need to have to be quiet with the moon being present, but you already know who that is, okay? I feel like this person that you are detaching from, unfortunately, things don't seem to be getting better. They just seem to be going in a way that is leading them to a lot of pain. And what they wanted with you is something that they feel like they can't have anymore because they don't feel like you're focused on them anymore. They feel like your focus is elsewhere. And so they continue to walk away, right? So this is them with the Eight of Cups. They're walking away, but as they walk away, it leads them to the Ten of Swords. So that's not really beneficial. But there's nothing that you can do about that. Like, this is them. They made their bed. That's the choice that they made. That's what they wanted to do. And unfortunately, we have the star in reverse. So as they walk that way, it keeps getting worse. But then when you try to talk to them about that, they don't want to hear you though so what can we do right they don't want to hear you they don't you know and they know you're right they know you're right but they hate to say that you're right too that's the problem so i don't know you're gonna see that in the future there's nothing you can do about that just continue to give to yourself taurus that's all that you can do right now of course the energy can change it will change in the future but right now i just see you focus on you talk to me about the future really quick when it comes to taurus the future when it comes to Taurus, please. All right, so we have the High Priestess coming out here, Pisces energy. Tell me more. The Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me more. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Watcher every day, every day here, ladies and gentlemen, with the Page of Swords in the future. All right, so you got this person that's not happy, 10 of cups in reverse. Now you got the 10 of cups in an upright in a present situation, so that's good for you. But they over here watching you and they not really happy. So I don't know what's going on with them and I don't know what they did to feel like this. And keep in mind, these readings are not always about love. We could be talking about a family member or whomever. For each of you watching, your intuition will be heightened as to who I am talking about, right? But they're watching still, and they're not happy over there with whomever that is, Ten of Cups in reverse. And I feel like they aggressively want to speak to you. You want to speak to this person too. I see that, Ace of Pentacles, but it's like you're very difficult to reach in the future with this High Priestess energy. And I think that that's perfect for Virgo season and right now. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus, to book a private session. All of that info is below. Take care.